Yes. and a full body. Yes. Mademoiselle of the Hour, Mackenzie Thank Westmore. You. Hi! So you? good to see you. you. And notice, we hugged. <laughs> yes, no we transfer. hugged. I know I'm not going to transfer. It was like a real and hug. My skin does not look like this too, by no. the way. <laughs> and you have like the softest skin, so radiant. Yeah. And so if you look at Mackenzie and think, Let's I see. will have everything this tall glass of water this has. This is not really me. Oh, we've so got sweet. it in the show, <laughs> which is so great. Uh, so let's talk about how you started the collection, because I mean, you guys are going on now like four generations of really making yes. the magic on screen. Well, it was. It was my great grandfather was the wig maker to the royal court. Winston yeah. Churchill's barber, best friend. He came over and uh, it was actually Adolf Manju who had shaved off his mustache during the silent film eras, era, era and uh, Three Musketeers and didn't know what to do. And so they went to my family, they sewed together a little piece of hair lace wig, glued it on, and that was the birth of a makeup artist on a movie set. Wow. So that's where it all started in the early 1900s. Now, moving forward then, my family did Gone with the Wind, Ten Commandments, Scrooge from the Black Lagoon, you name it. Uh, my dad, uh, I don't know if he's watching right now or not, but hi, anyhow. Hi, <laughs> and mom, Mr. and my son, Maddox. Oh, hello. <laughs> hi, everybody. My husband, they're all watching. I love that. <laughs> so, my, my dad actually has nine Emmys, an Oscar. Uh, the family yes. collectively for makeup has a star on the Walk of Fame. So I, you know, at the time was doing a show called Face Off, which was the makeup show, and I yeah. thought, okay, this only makes sense now to take this great family history, this great family lineage with a makeup show, yeah. and to take this Hollywood glamour with Hollywood special effects and all my years of sitting in a makeup chair, because I've been sitting in a makeup chair technically since I was one. Yeah. I was in Raging Bull when I was three. So wow. <laughs> I've been, I did and a soap for 10 years. that was only 20 years ago. I'm back on Jeez. a soap opera now called The Bay. So I'm back in the chair again. So it's interesting that I've seen all these changes yeah. sitting in the chair, yet having my family being the ones to apply it. Yeah. So I wanted to take all that knowledge of Hollywood beauty, Hollywood special effects, and bring all of this to you at home so that you could have that red carpet glow, that same glamour that all the actresses have, all the tips all the secrets easy in your own home. I wanted easy to use products that really worked that for me personally looked great on camera and off camera. Well tonight I have to say from personal opinion alone and this is just based off a lot of your feedbacks is something that I think at this point we know that we all need and we are all in search of the one and only concealer that can yeah. conceal you know anything from maybe you know like age spots to like real stuff that you're like this is not fair I'm a good person <laughs> and so this is our magic effects powder to cream concealer with the brush now normally just the coverage concealer alone would be um, a separate purchase but you're getting the brush tonight um, which is great because it's really two pieces in one. $27 to bring this home. This has been raved about in Us Magazine and you mm -hmm. guys nominated it this year for your best concealer, yes. which stay Thank tuned, you, we hope you win. <laughs> yeah, fingers crossed. Let's talk about why you created this because we'll show you the shades in a second, but concealer well, is a perfectly. tough battle concealer for a lot of us. Concealer is a tough one and you said it perfectly that you know we all look to our concealers and our foundations. Yes. You know, we have you know skin issues as we get older and we, put our foundations and our, co our concealers over those issues and instead of helping to create the illusion of it being good looking skin, it just makes things worse. And that's because most foundations and concealers are packed full of fillers. Yeah. And when you put them on, it looks like a cakey fake mess. So I was tired of that. So at Westmore Beauty, we did something called PTC technology and it's purely pigments and technology, no fillers. So I'm actually gonna apply this onto my hand and you can see it's gonna get a little messy, just so you can see what I'm talking about here. It starts off as this great powder, but Which, the minute- Which, by the way, that is so fearful. Like, I'm fearful right now. Right, like, that I can't know. be concealer. But exactly, because you would think that there's no way that's gonna happen. Yeah. But the minute you have skin-to-skin -skin contact, you'll see it turns into this unbelievable creamy texture that wow. gives insane coverage. Now, did you notice those blue veins are now instantly gone? I'll knock off the rest of it but look at the incredible coverage. Sorry, I've got the brow for later. I don't want to cover that up, but you can see, look at how it concealed. And not only that, this is not just your average concealer. This is actually hydrating as well. So you're going to get incredible hydration by an extra 123%. So this will not settle into fine lines. Yeah. This will not settle into wrinkles. And we actually have an amazing animation to explain this exactly. So it's a powder and cream technology. It starts with special powders with hollow cores. Then we add a lightweight hydrating gel to those powders. We use a proprietary tornado-like mixing process that infuses a gel complex into the powder cores, creating an exclusive powder technology that turns into a weightless hydrating cream once it touches your skin. This uniquely and naturally camouflages all of your imperfections without any caking. No matter how many layers you apply, and that's because there are no fillers, just pigments 
Performance, Pure Technology. Again, you can layer this over and over until you get the coverage you need. All right, let's start four shades. Enough for everybody, which yep. I think is great. We start with That's light. It. It's super easy. Light, if you burn easily, have more porcelain skin tone. Medium, if you burn, then tan. Tan, if you have more sun-kissed skin tones. And deep, for richer, deeper skin tones. All right, $27, beautyiq.com to place your order for this. One of the interesting things about this is, you know, you saw the texture go from truly a powder to this cream consistency. Mm -hmm. And you know, for those of us out there that are wondering how does this fit in our makeup routine, with Westmore Beauty, I love that like you guys are a one-stop shop. Yes. Like, yep. if you've got a beauty problem, they're solving it. So does this go on after foundation? Should this be after foundation, foundation? It could be your foundation. In fact, it, it, Sheila's actually gonna show you. She already has some foundation on, but you'll see the concealing effect of this. And you do get the dual-ended brush as well, by the way. I just wanna mention that this is, as is all Westmore Beauty Cruelty Free, and this, all of our bristles are infused with charcoal, making it antibacterial. That's awesome. So you can see how she's able to simply use it as a spot concealer. Now I have seen, like my sister for example, sent me a gorgeous photo of herself. I swore she had an Instagram filter on the photo. Yeah. And she said, no, this is purely your powder to cream concealer over her entire face. So she wow. did use it as a foundation and then just layered a little bit more for concealing. And I kid you not, I keep this photo <laughs> with me always because it really looked like an Instagram filter. So you can see as, as Sheila's applying it, you just dab it on. And that do you powder. dab or stipple first and I then like blend? I like to dab. I do like to dab and just, you always just want to gently blend because yeah. you don't want to pull or tug the skin. Sure. You want to be very careful. You always want to use a light hand. And that's a great thing with all of my products is that they go on so effortlessly. Yeah. They're really goof proof. You know, like I said, I'm not a makeup artist. So if I can do it, you can do it. Well, Look at Sheila. And the nice thing about it is, it looks like with this consistency, you can be a powder foundation girl, okay. a cream foundation girl. I mean, look, look at the hyperpigmentation that, that she's covered up, and yet. And you saw her covered up right here. You saw on the cheek, and that look looks at how. like it never even existed. I know. And, and I like that it's optically a little brighter. Yes, so like, it does. You know, you've well, minimized the darkness. Exactly, and because that hydration, it just adds this like you know subtle dewiness to your skin. Now, was that something that was important to you from the get-go to add oh, hydration yes. to concealer, or was that something that with the ingredients? you like stumbled on and you were like, guys, It was kind amazing. of a stumble, but it was important to me too. Yeah. It was something that I always thought about simply because you don't want a concealer to cake up and get matte. I mean, even look at look at uh, Julianne. Look at how gorgeous her skin looks. You yeah. know, there's a glow to her skin. And some might say, oh, well, that's too shiny. But that you want that. You want a sheen to your skin. You want yes. a glow and a glisten. You don't want matte looking skin because that's when people know you're wearing makeup. You want people to come up to you and say, wow, your skin looks amazing. You don't want them to come up to you and say, oh, your makeup looks great. Yeah. Mannequin skin should never not be man, the goal. No, we do not want mannequin skin no, here. No, we don't. <laughs> That's a great uh, way to put it. And P.S., by the way, the brush, which by the way has two sides, would be a separate purchase anywhere else. You're getting the concealer as well for $27. The only thing you have to choose is your shade. Okay. What was Julianne in? What was Sheila in? Uh, Sheila was in tan. Okay. Julianne, I believe, was in, in the, uh, light. Light. And then, and then I medium. actually mixed a little bit of the medium and the tan. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. Uh, you can check out a deeper look at that uh, shade chart on beautyiq.com if you'd like to. But a great way to again like in the world where now everything is HD and this is a concealer that's on so many sets as yes. is. You know the areas that you want concealed oftentimes when they're